we're making the MTZ 556 overpowered here in Modern Warfare 3. This class setup has a mixture of fast ADS and no recoil. I know a lot of you guys enjoy that. I was able to drop two nukes. I know for a fact y'all can go crazy as well. So if you guys enjoy, feel free, drop a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn those post notifications, and as always, shout out to the notification squad. If you guys want a shout out, make sure you guys comment Nodi Gang down in the comment section. Let's get into it, y'all. Let's take a look at the new absolute best and fastest killing MTZ 556 class. This is a setup you guys can use in Modern Warfare 3 as well as Warzone. So if you like both modes, I got you guys covered. Now, for the first attachment, we are going to be running a muzzle. And on the MTZ 556 specifically, we are going to be rocking the compensated flash hider, which does a lot of brilliant things on this assault rifle. Those being increasing that vertical recoil control, horizontal recoil control, firing aiming stability, and taking us off the radar for a short period of time. Unfortunately, the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor is not going to be the best option here. If you want to be able to control the recoil, I recommend running the compensated flash hider, but if you don't mind the additional kick, the Spirit Fire is also a great option, fully you taking you off the radar, but for me personally, I like to go ahead and point and shoot. This is going to be a great attachment if you're looking for a zero recoil MTZ 556 setup. Now, what we're going to be doing with this setup that's very different and something that I personally have not done yet in multiplayer, I don't know why, but we are not going to run a barrel on this build. Instead, we're going to jump right over to the under barrel and we're going to be equipping the Bruin Heavy Support Grip. I am so happy they went ahead and removed all the movement cons because we're taking advantage of increased gun kick control, aim idle sway, horizontal recoil, and more firing aiming stability. We're going to be able to go full auto across the map without worrying about a thing, and that is exactly why the MTZ 556 is so devastating when you run the right attachments on it. Definitely equip this, and you're going to be going crazy. Now, what we're going to be doing with the setup is going to be running an optic here. Now, the MTZ's iron sights are okay, but on a lot of the precision rifles, I do enjoy the slate reflector. I know for a fact a lot of you guys prefer having an optic, which makes things a hell of a lot easier to take people out at those medium to longer ranges. So definitely have the slate reflector equipped on your MTZ 556 setup if you're trying to go full auto across the map and just dominate now we are going to be running a stock on this setup and the mtz maruda stock is going to be fantastic going ahead and bumping up the recoil as well as the gun kit control again we want to remove as much recoil as possible from this assault rifle so we can go full auto and go crazy across the map this is going to be a fantastic assault rifle if you're looking to replace the mcw as well as the holger 556 and honestly the sva 545 if you're trying to shake it up even more now, finally, we are going to be running a rear grip on this build, and I do recommend running the assault grip. This is going to be a good choice because we're taking advantage of even more recoil control, gun kick control, and firing and stability. Y'all, this is going to be a no recoil laser beam when you have all this attached equipped on your class setup. Now, the crazy thing about it is once you jump in the firing range, you're going to find out that even though literally every single attachment on this build is going to be controlling recoil we still have a crazy i mean this is a crazy fast ads the strafe speed is going to be acceptable and obviously we're going to have a setup that literally does not have any recoil now again this is brilliant because we have fast ads with a no recoil assault rifle that's something that you really can't come by quite often here in modern warfare 3 and definitely you couldn't do it in modern warfare 2 this is why the mtz 556 is overpowered with this in the build, we are going to go ahead and run the Core 45. I am rocking it with the conversion kit, effectively transforming this into a submachine gun. We are going to be utilizing the 40 round drum. We have on the SO Skeletal Vertical Grip. We are going to be rocking the Colossus Suppressor XS version for more recoil control and take us off the radar. And because we have the conversion kit, we have the option to run the XRK Dynamic Precision Stock, which is going to be bumping up even more gun kick and recoil control. Do not forget, we are going to run Munitions Box, Scavenger Glow gloves, covert sneakers, bone conduction headset to your footsteps and gunfire a lot easier, as well as ghost to keep us off the radar. And because we are running a running gun style of setup that you can actually use at longer ranges, and honestly is preferred at longer ranges, the comms vest is going to be fantastic, giving us essentially a 24-7 UAV. Every time you kill somebody, run over the body, the drop at a radar beacon, let you know 
where people are at in your general vicinity because the spawns are so bad well you're gonna know where everybody is at the mtz556 is gonna be amazing when you have these attachments equipped it's a perfect mixture of fast ads and no recoil so if you guys enjoy feel free drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel turn those notifications i dropped two nukes let's get into it all right let's get busy with the mtz556 now we've been rocking the 762 recently now we're going to be checking out the 556 i have not used this weapon in a very long time but i really enjoy it we have i think another afk back there as well nope we don't he's actually playing oh he has the warzone sva set up with a flamethrower attachment on it rotate this way rotate this way Get up here. Come on, reload, 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 reload. This setup is so nasty. This is actually a war zone build too, dude. I've been taking a lot of war zone builds recently. Uh uh. And rocking them in pubs, they work. There's no way. The kid just swung his gun, and because when you get hit with the melee, your your health just gets dropped fifty percent. I cannot stand getting panic meleeed on this game, dude. It's so annoying. Are the spawns really this pitiful? Target area updated. Move to the hard point. He made stole my kill. Rotate this way. At the advanced. Rotate over here. I'm dropping this EMP. Come on, baby. Bye. 
28. Let's go. We got it. Rotate this way. Whew. That was super close. I had to kind of like focus up right there because the spawns. Wait. But I say that. Nuke time. Book it. Let's drop it. Let's go. God, I love the MTZ, man. This war zone. Money. We got a guy trying to go ahead and get a flank already. Two, there's only two left. Secure the perimeter. One. Oh, I see him. Let's shut it down, y'all. They should spawn directly back over here. Yes! I read it right. Let's go, baby. Directly underneath me right now. That was a brilliant, brilliant read. Holy shit. Yo, 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 yo. Brother, get off the mic with that. Come on, man.
next objective. Are they are they in the plane? Wait, did I just kill that coach hot kid? Like I did, bro. Oh my God. That kid spawned in front of my eyes. Literally, that was it. Over here, secure the perimeter. The enemy is capturing our headquarters. We lost control of the HQ. Send the reinforcement. This, set, this setup is so like the. Push up. They spawned out. Headquarters online. Secure the enemies capturing the objective. Inside the perimeter. Clear them out. Yeah, these spawns are bad. These spawn, brought they should not have been spawning back here. Those spawns were beyond shocked. I'm dead. Unless my teammate can help. Thank you. Mission time. It's over. Maintain the lead. Friendly UAV online. Hostile UAV in the area. The enemy is capturing our head. After this hill, I'm calling the nuke in. Let's sit over here. Buddy needs to get my Lockwood set up. Your shit is chalk, dog. I'm dead. 
I might not be able to get the nuke in, but hey, wait, hold on. That kid's lockwood setup was actually not bad. I got a hit marker, but I don't think I'm going to be able to get the nuke in because there's no way they're going to bust this hill. I actually, you know what? Nah, I'm not getting the nuke in. Nah, GG. I mean, 62, I should have just called it. Yeah, we won. GG. Wow. I can't. Good shit, teammates. Let's go. That's a dub.